Today we are going to talk about cultural sustainability. What strikes you when somebody brings up the topic of culture? Is it cute Chinese pandas or Japanese cartoons like Pokemon? Or you would think of Harry Potter and the magical world? Or images of Marvel's superheroes such as Captain America and Iron Man would pop up into your mind? Or you would think of the African continent when pyramids and the Prarov exist? Correctly, UNESCO established a catalog of world cultural heritage for us to browse to. Up to now, Italy ranked first among the top 10 countries owning world culture heritage in 2017, followed by countries like China, Spain, and Germany. U.S. was placed on the 10th place on that list. Cultural heritage can contribute to tourism prosperity since modern-day transportation makes it easy to travel all over the world. Many local tourist areas were established to boost the tourism economy. However, the WTO report of culture export showed that the United States lead the rankings, while UK and Canada placed themselves second and third, respectively. Countries like China and India are not on the list. It is important for us to maintain the sustainability, diversity, and the prosperity of culture. But the key emphasis should be placed on sustainability, which is gathering worldwide attention. Humanity has the ability to make development sustainable to ensure that it meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. The concept of cultural sustainability was first brought up on the 1987 World Environmental and Development Conferences. As part of sustainability development, the later was defined as humanity has the ability to make development sustainable to ensure that it meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. Cultural sustainability focuses more than on the cultural part of such a process. So what are some of the daily examples of cultural sustainability? Mobile phone manufacturers Nokia and Apple attributed their success of corporate cultural sustainability to the audacious innovation. In the realm of sports, the marathon originated from the story of a runner sprinting long distance to spare the news of Athens' victory in war back in 490 BC. The Olympic Games inherited the running part of the traditional story and transform it into a competitive sport. Modern day techniques were utilized to train athletes to break previous records. World known game company Nintendo constantly updates new versions of Pokemon while keeping the game's core essence of capturing, breeding, and fighting Pokemon. We can also witness how the size of Pikachu is catering to the society's changing aesthetics. In a nutshell, inheritance and innovation make up the two core components of cultural sustainability. Only by creaming off the best of co traditional culture, filtering out the impurities, and adding in new elements, can we realize sustainability development of corporate culture, sports culture, and even ethnical culture.